Hello and welcome back to Ready Steady DIY. If it's your first time here, thank you for joining us. Well, today I'm gonna take some old rusty shower hooks that look like this, and I'm gonna make them look like this. I'm gonna do that with stuff that's just lying around my house. It's gonna be cheap, it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be easy to do, it'll be non-toxic, and in the end, I think it might actually be easier than ordering brand new hooks or going to a store and buying them. If you wanna see what I did, hang on to the end. But for now, let's get going. <laughs> As you can see, I've got some shower curtain hooks here and you know, the natural instinct when you look at something this rusty is to say, well, just throw it away and get another one. But there's a lot of good reasons to not do that. First of all, it just means more metal going into landfill. There's no reason for that. I'm not saying you gotta be all environment all the time, but for me, I just prefer not to waste. And if it's something that's perfectly good and that can be fixed, why not? In this case, it's totally possible to clean these shower hooks up with just items you have lying around your household anyway. It doesn't have to cost a lot. It doesn't have to take a lot of time or money or effort. So that's my normal approach and I'm gonna show you how I do it today. So I always have white vinegar lying around the house. I have it around because I like to clean with it. It's a very natural, safe and effective tool for cleaning your bathroom, your kitchen, whatever you got. Yeah, it stinks a little bit, <laughs> but it's cheap, it's easy to find and it really, really works. So I always have a couple of large containers of vinegar under my sink. And so when I came across these shower curtain hooks, I knew what I was gonna do right away. So the first course of action, you gotta get a little container. I'm gonna use this little black takeout container here. And then you've gotta make a mix of uh, white vinegar and salt. I'm just using normal iodized table salt here. And the mixture is usually a 16 to one mixture. If you're using a, a large amount, basically it's one cup of salt for every gallon of vinegar. In this case, I don't need that much. I'm gonna need about two cups of vinegar to cover the hooks in this particular container completely. So that means I'm gonna need about two tablespoons of salt to make my mixture. This method involves an acidic approach which really isn't appropriate for delicate metals or valuable metals. I would not suggest doing this for something valuable or delicate, but if you've got something that's pretty hardy, this method is really popular. I'll tell you, among weightlifters who find old rusty weights, this is a very popular way to restore weights. It's gonna acidically attack the rust on the surface of these guys so that it'll soften it up and make it easy to wipe away with a scouring pad or 2000 grit sandpaper or whatever you want. So basically I make my mixture, I put the hooks in, and basically I leave them to sit. I would say a minimum of six hours, I have left items like these overnight without issue. But I would go back and check your metal, especially if you don't know what kind of metal you're trying to remove the rust from or how it was coated. You do want to check to make sure the acidic process isn't destroying any finishes or hurting any metal in a way that you don't want it to. These guys I've already tested, I know they're good. And since they're sort of a low value item, there's a lot less pressure here. And so now I'm done. It looks a lot like the rust has really greatly diminished here. So the next step is I have to neutralize this acid that is eating away at the outside of the metal. I want it to stop now. So I create a mixture basically on that same 16 to one ratio with baking soda and water. I know you're saying water, wait a second, water creates rust, what are you doing? But it is sort of the only way to apply this base to the acidic brine that it's been sitting in. And it's only gonna be in there for about 10 minutes. So it's not gonna cause significant amounts of rust. And in the end, I do need these things to sort of function in a wet environment anyway. <laughs> So if they can't take 10 minutes in the water, I'm cooked regardless. And so finally I pull it out, I rinse it off, and then I can just give it a little buffin. If there's still remnants of rust left, I can hit it with a scouring pad, I can hit it with uh, 2000 grit sandpaper, or whatever you think your metal can handle. And since it's soaked so long, the rust really should come off fairly easily. You might see a little pitting or some evidence that some of the metal had converted into rust and is now just plain no longer there, but I bet it'll look a hundred times better than when it was rusty. So since it's pretty much proven to you that it's uh, capable of rusting, <laughs> you wanna give it some kind of coating, some kind of protection so that moving forward, it doesn't rust again quickly at least. There is no foolproof way to keep metal from rusting, but you can slow it down a fair bit. And so in this case, I'm just gonna spray a little WD-40 on a paper towel and give it a little wipe. You can use gun oil, you can use light machine oil, but a lot of people spray their tools with WD-40. It seems to work. I'm gonna give it a go with this. I'm not gonna make them dripping wet though. <laughs> this does have to go right over my shower curtain. So just a little buff. I think that'll work fine. And then put them back into action. At this point, they look way better than they used to. Will they rust again? For sure. <laughs> of course they will. If it gets to be bad, I'll just do this again. It didn't take very long. Most of the job was done by the soaking anyway. I literally put them into the vinegar and walked away. And for sure the vinegar doesn't cost very much. Same goes for the salt. 
in my case, for this application, it seems like kind of a no-brainer. The shower curtain hooks are saved from ending up in landfill, and I don't have to order new ones. Cheaper, faster, better, I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. Have you ever done this before? Do you prefer to use a chemical that you buy at a store, CLR, something like that? Do you have another home remedy that you like to use to remove rust? I wanna hear about all those things, so please leave those comments in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. So with that, I'll say goodbye for this week. Thanks for hanging out. And until next week, take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects, and I'll see you next Saturday.